a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 31st may on the front page you have modi takes oath with 57 ministers at a glittering event so you can see that uh, new names have come in in the cabinet also so here it is amit shah former foreign secretary s jay shankar have been inducted so you can see the cabinet ministers shown here plus also over 20 ministers have been dropped including those who lost the elections and even sushma swaraj and arun jetli have opted out of the government only uh, one birth has been offered to nitish kumar's jdu so they stayed on so you know you can see who others who have not been inducted are also manika gandhi and rajivardhan singh rathor who were there during the first term of nda Then below you have give fair hearing to those not inducted, not included in NRC. Supreme Court tells Assam. So the Supreme Court has asked the uh, Assam National Register's coordinator, Pratik Hajela, to ensure that those who have appealed against non-inclusion of their names in the NRC must get a fair hearing and due process must be followed. He has been asked not to shortcut the process or not to cut short the process. And this is JNJ offers rupees 25 lakh to all patients for faulty implant. So this is US multinational Johnson and Johnson. So on the ARC hip implant, which has been defective, articulate surface replacement hip implants. This has been in news for quite some time now. So JNJ has now agreed to pay voluntarily pay rupees 25 lakh to each of the 67 patients who have undergone revision surgeries on receiving faulty hip implants made by it. So this is a significant move. Delhi High Court has been told that 67 people will benefit by this decision of JNJ. On page 3 you have UP invites bid for JWAR airport. So this is likely to be operational from 2023 with a capacity of 1.2 crore passengers annually. So this is the proposed airport, JWAR airport in UP. So it will be the second cap airport for the national capital region. So here you can see this is the in Delhi and NCR region shown and this is JWAR here in UP. On page 5 you have no patient complaints in India says Medtronic. So this is medical device manufacturing company Medtronic which has claimed that it has received no patient complaints in India after the US FDA premature FDA's uh, you know, uh, one alert, it's a, a battery depletion alert which it has given on this premature battery depletion on the some of the pacemakers which the company manufactures. And this is World Health Organization Award for Rajasthan Health Department. So, this is the award to Rajasthan's, uh, you know, medical health department for uh, its recognition for its achievement in the field of tobacco control. So, this is important, the campaign which it undertook to against tobacco consumption at places such as schools, colleges, police stations and even government offices. So, that has paid off. It is said as part of the tobacco free initiatives, you know, a num huge number of people took pledge against tobacco consumption at government institutions as such too. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Capital Buffers. So, this is regarding RBI's draft norms for NBFCs, non-banking finance companies. So, uh, recently RBI released draft norms on liquidity risk management for NBFCs. So, this is said to be a timely move. And the second editorial, Changing the Earth. So, this is regarding recognizing Anthropocene as an epoch. So, it says that this is a caution to humanity. We have discussed this in detail. It was on front page news and also regarding NBFCs, draft norms for NBFCs. Then the lead article is Bill of Rights for the Vulnerable. So it questions why the second Modi government should uh, send lapsed legislation back to the drafting stage. So it, it says this, these are controversial bills and rights for the vulnerable have to be upheld. You can see the citizenship bill, the NRC exercise. So these are problematic social bills like the transgender bill, the surrogacy bill, trafficking bill. 
So it says in each of the cases, the draft legislation was correctly introduced with the aim of addressing an existing lacuna in the legal landscape. But the recognition of transgender rights by enshrining them in law had long been a demand of the community. But it says the consultation with communities was not done. So the drafts, you know, far from protecting the rights, actively harmed them. So the draft bills need to be reworked is what is being stated. It says, for example, the transgender bill did away with the fundamental and non-negotiable principle and one recognized by Supreme Court in its Nalsa judgment too of right to self-determination of gender identity. So it says that the bill places the decision in the hands of government appointed committees. So gender identity should be self uh, recognized. Then this is season of populist discontent. So it says elections worldwide show that liberal democracy cannot be taken for granted. So EU elections were also conducted recently and how the far right is expanding itself. So that the article is in that context. Then on opet page on Fridays you have this parlay coverage. So there's a question posed. It says, is India's growth story plateauing? Means it is reaching a flat ground. It's not increasing further. So it says a government with mandate can bring about structural changes needed for economic growth. So views, counter views on this is given. On page 12, you have 37 election commission recommendations pending since 2014. So nine groups had advised crucial changes, including permanent disqualification of corrupt candidates. But such, uh, such recommendations are pending for a long time now. So that is detailed out and this is very important. On international page, you have Netanyahu fails to form government. So this is regarding Israel. The lawmakers here voted to dissolve parliament and PM has proposed to hold elections on September 17. Now. And then here you have White House asked Navy to hide warship John S. McCain. So this is a report which has come forth, but US President and Defense Secretary have denied issuing such order. On business page, you have Three PSUs Inc. joint venture pact for buying rare metals. So this is Nalco, the National Aluminium Company, and then Mineral Exploration Company Limited and Hindustan Copper Limited. So these th three PSUs have signed a joint venture, are set to sign a joint venture agreement for making overseas acquisition of reserves of rare metal like lithium and cobalt. So working together on that. So Nalco is going to hold 34% of this proposed rupees 100 crore entity which will be formed by these three uh, PSUs. And this is NCLT approves Tata Steel takeover of Bhushan Energy. So the debt laden firm Bhushan Energy will be acquired by Tata Steel and National Company Law Tribunal has approved this acquisition for about Rs. 800 crore. So it's there. On page 16, you have Natco settles patent litigation in the US. So, drug maker Natco Pharma from India has reached a settlement with Onyx Therapeutics Inc. on a patent litigation related to generic versions of anti cancer drug Kyprolis. So, this is the issue. So, Pharma Major can now, Natco can now launch its Carf Carfilzomib. So, this generic version of the drug can be launched by it now. So this is an agreement reached between the two entities. So the NATCO has been given the license as such. It has been granted license permitting the launch of its generic drug. And on the last page you have hydrogen powered flying machine readies for takeoff. So this is 5 seater scare which has a range of 644 kilometer and can carry 544 kg weight. So it is expected to be someday used as taxi or cargo carriers or even as ambulance of the sky. So a number of regulatory hurdles have to be crossed before it is finally approved for takeoff in the future. So this is there. And this is microbes in body could help predict future health. So it says that repeated tests may help those at risk. So a single test to see what gut bacteria you harbor is such, uh, you know, may not tell much but research says that repeated tests spotted that the microbial zoo changing in ways 
that eventually may help doctors determine who is at risk of preterm birth, inflammatory bowel disease and even diabetes. So repeated tests help understanding the microbes in the body. So this is a new study. And that is it. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asha.com. Thank you.